So just another quick video about Virtual GTA 2021 and the stem separation feature. But this time it's about how you can use the stem separation that Virtual GTA does and then actually use the output in other programs. So uh, what's that all about? Well, uh, as, I, as I showed in another video, there's now a new feature that does uh, the separation in a pre-computed way. So it's here saying pre-compute stems. And if I click that, you see that it starts a process up here. And what it's actually doing, it's actually doing the same as if you load the track. So it's doing the, uh, the separation. And on this particular laptop, that's pretty slow. So you can see it happening. And apart from that, it's also storing, storing it. Uh, so where we, if we wait for just a few seconds uh, till it's finished and load the track, then you, we should see that it actually loads the track really fast and does the separation really fast because it's already been done and it's already uh, ready for it. So uh, I'm going to try that in a second. So now I load the, the track that we just separated, pre-computed. And you can see that it's really fast and I can, uh, I can play it. Yes, it's true. And I can uh, separate, uh, for instance, the vocals, isolate them, isolate them, or remove them like that. So that's exactly like you would expect. And as we also saw in the other video, that's because it's actually generated a new file. So if I go into file operations and say open an explorer, it opens a new folder. And you can see now that it has this uh, new file right next to a regular file called VTJ stems. And that's actually what we're going to use because what is this thing? Well, that's actually just an MP4 file. So if I take a copy of it and uh, rename it, just take a copy so we won't real ruin what virtual DJ is doing with it. So we have a copy of it now and I call it MP4 like that. And I double click it to play it. It'll just open up in in this case in, in a Windows Media Player and it tries playing it and if we go into it a little bit we can hear that now it gets to maybe the kick or stuff like that so it's really just randomly picking stuff from in there and playing it that's of course not what we want we want something that can actually see these uh, stems see these separate uh, stereo files that's in there so let's close that one again and then go over to Another product called Audacity, because that can actually do it, but it can't do it by itself. It needs a little helper, it needs a little library. So what I've done is that I've installed a library into it that I already kind of knows about. That's called FFmpeg library. And uh, when you do that, sometimes it'll detect where it is. Sometimes you'll have to uh, tell it by selecting it. You see this one already knows, so that's fine. Uh, and I've, of course, uh, link uh, both Audacity and this FFmpeg library in the video description, so you can go get it, and you just have to to fiddle with it a little bit to get it uh, to get it matched up. But now that it is matched up, I can take the new file and I can just drag and drop it into Audacity, and then I get a pop up. So what does it pop this pop up do? Well, that's actually the five separated stems. So it asks me which one do you want? Well, we want all of them. So I'll just mark all of them like that and say OK and then it will separate the mp4 file into um, five separate uh, stereo tracks inside this editor so you can see now I have five stereo tracks one two three four five and those are actually the stems so if I play the track here go into it a little bit I can now solo each stem if I want to. So that's the vocals. That's the hi hat or the high, the high drums, if you will. And the next one is actually, so you can hear, over here. That's actually the bass. And the next one again is the rest of the instruments. That's the instrument track. And finally, down here, we have the rest of the drums. So now we got them separated. So, so what does that mean? Well, that means that now we can actually uh, do exactly what we want to with them. So now I can say, well, I just want the, uh, 
the vocals to actually do an a cappella. So if I do that, I can just decide to mute the other ones, or in this case, I'll just remove them because we want to create an a cappella. You can do the opposite and get an instrument version. And now I can just go into export like that, export MP4, MP3 file like that, and say, well, I'll just say, well, that's fine, but let's just call it, call it a cappella like that. That's an MP3 file now, and that's fine. And save it, just to the desktop for now, like that. And I'll just export it as an MP3 file now, just the vocals. I have them to my desktop, and I have the vocals as an a cappella file here, and I can play uh, in a, a regular uh, player, like for instance, this Winamp. Open. Here we go. Yes, it's true. So now I have an a cappella file uh, of that. And I could have done the, the opposite. I could have just made an instrumental file. I could also have cut it up a little bit so there was no uh, like silent intro. I can do all this kind of stuff. But the important part is that you can actually now take uh, the uh, the stems uh, pre computed stem file that Virtual DJ creates. Rename it to MP4, then use an, an editor like uh, like Audacity with a little plugin, and it'll separate it. And then you can use all these stems individually, uh, like for anything you want, like creating a cappellas. So that was just a little trick with the new Virtual DJ 2021 and uh, the, uh, the the stem separation and using those outside of Virtual DJ.